home video games were notorious for burning images onto the family television. So I drew an underground game. You had to avoid all brightly coloured backgrounds. And games are either underground where it's black or up in space where it's black. I was drawing the maps on the TRS-80 screen using the basic program. I could assemble program on, on the TRS-80 in the TRS-80 memory and then squirt it into, I could fill the spectrum memory in two seconds with that and it, it gave a very fast workflow. Uh, I didn't even have to reload it if, uh, if the spectrum crashed. It, I just restart the spectrum, squirt it over again in two seconds and it was, it was very productive. I made a small board on, on Vero board originally it plugged into the back of the spectrum and had and came from parallel interface on, on, on the TRS-80 and, and it let me fill the, the memory of the spectrum uh, from it was one command. On Manic Mana you'd always you always started in the same place. There was a fixed start place for the screen. Each screen was a separate, totally discrete, separate puzzle. You had to get from the start to the end. The game I, I, I drew yeah, is not is quite different from the the game that emerged. Yes, I, I think I think I I had more plans for um, various com other kinds of conveyors and rivers. There was definitely a lot of falling water in the original idea, but gameplay dynamic or just the of the jumping and the collapsing claws that was that seemed to be enough to to do all the puzzle and, and conveyor belts. You you make a drawing and then you and then you write the code to animate the drawings you've drawn but the, the code you write is um, it becomes inspired by its own technical reasons for being. Um, you, you, you hit the limits of the machine and, and you realise you haven't got enough memory to buffer the whole screen, so you buffer the top two thirds and that, that, that made all the pre-existing map designs obsolete. It's seeing things move on the screen, that's when there's feedback between what you're seeing and what